and unless the government radically changes its priorities, no one is going to give us a $25 billion contract to build them a fleet of rhetoric. <laughs> who don't have very much to do. And I'm sure that many of you, if you're not already working, are anxiously searching for it. And it's strange to observe this bizarre transformation, because for as long as I can remember, most of us haven't been looking for work, but actively fleeing from it. <laughs> as well we should be. Our task, our gift, is thinking and reflecting, which is nearly impossible if you're working too hard. <laughs> The idea of coasting often has a negative connotation. It implies a lack of effort, a deep and abiding idleness. But why should one not coast? Coasting is graceful. Coasting is blissful. And people who try to run it become sweaty and unattractive. <laughs> Idleness does not consist in doing nothing, but in doing a great deal not recognized in the dogmatic formularies of the ruling class. <laughs> the modern action that a degree in the liberal arts does not provide an obvious foundation for today's careers is absolutely true. But it is a consolation and not a curse. Because who are more likely to change things than those who do not have an investment in the way that things currently are? <laughs> In a world that can no longer exist in this current formulation, its best chance for the future is not a collection of rapacious business majors struggling to learn Mandarin, but people who think <laughs> Just one of them. Bethany Highmarsh, whom I'm sure if she was still here would be standing in my place. She's a microcosm of what makes this place so wonderful. The wit, the intelligence, the devotion to community, and it must be said, the occasional penchant for sloppy drunkenness. <laughs> it feels strange to be saying goodbye to a place and people whom I have not yet truly left. It feels, in fact, impossible. How can I separate myself when so much of who and what I am resides here and at the University of King's College? I feel like Janus, the Roman god of the doorway. One face looks backward and the other forward. Soon, we will step through that door. And it's a dangerous business, Frodo, going out. <laughs> There's no knowing where you might be swept off to. Thank you.